Hello YouTube, Toolness One here. I wanted to make a little video talking about brass trimming and how I do it, the way I do it, and why. Um, I first started out with one of these lathe style trimmers and uh, I got the drill attachment, you know, to kind of speed it up. But I just wasn't happy with the way this works and one of the reasons why is having to set the trim depth every time I change calibers or cartridges. I always had trouble getting this adjusted right where I wanted it and it just seemed like a pain. It seemed like it was slow and a lot of the way I do things revolves around the back issues that I have and how I'm positioned while I'm doing the work and using one of these, having to lean forward and just deal with this the way that you take the cartridge in and out or the case in and out just kind of annoyed me and I also have one of the other RCBS that has the plate style uh, shell holders where there's a big lever and you change them out that way I like that one a little better but both of them just they do a good job but adjusting them is annoying and the positioning of everything is kind of annoying so I'm going to show you guys real quick how I do it and this way has worked for me for a long time it's fast it allows me to be seated up straight and not hunched over and so I use the Lee system and one of the things I really like about the Lee system is these these case gauges the trim length is set for you all you do is change this out and you're on now there is a downside to that if you're not happy with the length that this already trims it you're kind of stuck with that you can shave this little uh, pin down if you want to go a little shorter uh, if you want to go a little longer I guess you could screw it out a little bit it probably wouldn't stay but you could you could figure out a way to do it so far I've been pretty happy with the lengths that these gauges are uh, are giving me so the biggest problem with this is when I trim my Verdan primed GP11 brass for 7.5 Swiss. This doesn't work with a Berdan case, so that's why I keep the lathe style trimmers around. I still use those. I have tried the Lee system. I forget what it's called, but there's a there's kind of a die you put in here and you bring your brass up through. Whoops, sorry about that. And then you have a crank on the top or you can set a drill on the top. The thing is nice because it, it trims, chamfers, and deburrs all in one step, but I had a horrible time with the trim length varying between case to case as to how much pressure I put down on that crank. It would give me a different length from way under what I needed to not trimming enough. So that really annoyed me. So I always come back to doing it this way and what I do is, for your cutting end here, they have this little knurled piece, which you can either just hold with your finger or they have a ball attachment that you can, you can hold on to. But I took a little vice grip so that I have a 90 degree angle here. And that way I don't have to exert really any force or pressure with this hand because I have that 90 degree angle, it doesn't it doesn't ever want to spin on me and I don't have to grip it really hard to keep it from spinning. There were a few times when I was just using this knurled piece because you got to hold it pretty close because you see the knurled part is pretty close to these cutters and there had been times where the brass would catch and I would end up gouging my fingers on these little cutters so that's the that's one of the reasons I grabbed this little cheapo mini vice grip from Harbor Freight and it really works well so basically what I do is I hold this drill in my right hand with the shell holder piece attached and I set it down on my my thigh I grab this with my left hand attach the brass in here which I can do pretty quick if I'm not trying to do it on camera so basically I have this sitting on my thigh, I trim it, trim it real quick, then I chamfer and deburr, 
I take a uh, Q-tip to the inside of the case neck, and then I wipe the lube off real quick with a paper towel, and then I'm done. That that piece is totally ready to prime and load. So that's how I do it, and that's why I do it the way I do. So I hope that I hope that helps someone out. I think the the main trick here is that I wanted to share with people was putting this vice grip on. It really helps a lot. If you're doing a ton of brass, your hand gets pretty dang tired trying to hold that ball or just hold this little deal. And this saves you wear on your hand and your wrist. So that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll talk to you later. All right, YouTube, one more thing I wanted to mention when I was uh, showing how I clean the lube off the brass with the paper towel and then this in the neck here. That's for when I'm doing a small batch. If I have a really large batch that I'm going through, I will skip the actual cleaning step and I'll throw it all in the wet tumbler when I'm done. So that totally saves you having to wipe each one down and you also end up with really clean primer pockets. So I just wanted to mention that. I'll talk to you guys later.